Flags are raised, and they're off. Two miles, three and a half furlongs, and 14 fences to be jumped in the feature race of the week. The Guinness Fahey Novice Chase and Gaelic Warrior, not surprisingly, is the first one to show in front for Patrick Mullins as they approach the first of the 14 fences. And Gaelic Warrior spring heeled at it, jumped it beautifully, lands about four to five lengths in front of American Mike in second. Similar break to Lucid Dreams in third. Elete Tom four, and I know the way you're thinking the back marker of the five. Already going a good clip up front, Gaelic Warrior, and leads by about half a dozen lengths as they come to fence number three. Being, and uh, took off a, maybe a stride area that an American Mike made a worse mistake. Gaelic Warrior a little bit too exuberant there, but got to the other side. American Mike in second, and there in front of Villete Tom, and Lucid Dreams in the back marker, I know the way you're thinking. Well strung out in the early stages of the Guinness Faheen Novice Chase, as they come to the fence at the top of the hill, fence number five. And Gaelic Warrior, carrying the colours of Faheen, who is victorious in the first running of this race as a grade one a few years ago, and again, took off Half a stride early at that, but he was fluent over it. Lands four lengths in front of American Mike in second. Six lengths then back to Lucid Dreams in third with four. The leader's stable companion, Ilete Tong. And I know the way you're thinking. Second to Gaelic Warrior in the beginner's chase at Punchestown when they, the two last raced. And is the back marker of the five. So heading downhill towards the turn into the straight for the first time. And fences six and seven await them when they swing in. Gaelic Warrior the leader. Only about three parts of length in front now of uh, American Mike. Second in the Cheltenham bumper a couple of years ago and came back to form when winning his beginner's chase at Navin last month. And then about three lengths back to Willete Tom, winner of his opening, opening, of his opening gambit over fences at Thurless at the end of November. Lucid Dreams in four, and I know the way you're thinking the back marker of the five as they feel just tighten up a little bit as they come towards the first of the two fences in the straight. Fences, fence number six. Gaelic Warrior on the far side lands a length in front of American Mike in second. Three lengths then to Elete Tomp in third. Lucid Dreams races four. And the back mark of the five. I know the way you think. Another fence which will last next time. And Gaelic Warrior, again exuberant, coming out of Patrick Mullins', Pat, Patrick Mullins hands there almost. Lands two lengths in front of American Mike and Keith Dunhu in second. Three lengths then to Elete Tomp and Danny Mullins in third. Gap of four then back to Lucid Dreams and Liam Quinlan in four, and the back mark of the five is the head out in the final circuit. I know the way you're thinking, and Simon Torrance. So past the nine furlong point in this grade one Guinness Faheen Novice Chase. Gaelic Warrior the leader, by three parts of length, American Mike a close second. Two lengths then to Ilete Tom, a grade one winning novice hurdler in his own right in third, and then a gap of a few lengths, three to four lengths, then back to Lucid Dreams in four. Lucid Dreams a winner at Navan, most recently having been a possibly unlucky defeat in the Florida Pearl Novice Chase at Punchestown. Prior to that, the back marker of the five. I know the way you're thinking. Into the back straight they go. Seven fences left to jump. And past the point of departure, Gaelic Warrior the leader by half a length to American Mike in second. A length and a half to Elete Tom in third. And then a gap of some six to eight lengths back to Lucid Dreams, who jumps it in four ahead of I know the way you're thinking. Gaelic Warrior again, absolutely spectacular at that first fence in the back straight as he was when they jumped off at the second of them, the regulation Gaelic Warrior again, very smooth over it, lands four lengths in front of American Mike in second, Dilete Tom, a length behind that one in third, clear of lucid dreams, and I know the way you're thinking. At the middle fence in the back straight, Gaelic Warrior, who apart from one over exuberant jump in the back straight on the first circuit, has been absolutely foot perfect so far for Patrick Mullins. At the penultimate fence in the back straight, Gaelic Warrior lands a couple of lengths in front of American Mike, still travelling well within himself for Keith Dunham in second. Elete Ton and Danny Mullins in third. Danny, who won this race on Col Reeve for Willie Mullins a couple of years back, and they're clear of, I know the way you're thinking, who's now gone fourth ahead of Lucid Dreams. At the fence at the top of the hill, the final regulation. Gaelic Warrior lands three lengths in front of American Mike in second. Elete Tom, half a length away, third on the inside, as Patrick Mullins just begins to slow it down in front on Gaelic Warrior. American Mike within half a length in second. Elete Tom a close third. I know the way you're thinking, being ridden along in four, but is making ground on the three leaders as they, as they do slow it down, clear of Lucid Dreams. On the downhill run towards the turn into the straight, less than three furlongs left to race in this Guinness Faheen novice chase, and two fences left to jump when they swing in. Patrick Mullins has got his breather into Gaelic Warrior, leads by half a length to American Mike, Elete Tom's in third, and only two lengths now back to I Know The Way You're Thinking in four, clear of lucid dreams, last of the five. 
Swinging in, two fences left to jump, the cards to be played. Gaelic Warrior, American Mike tries to move up on the outside, being ridden to do so. Elete Tone now comes under a right third under Danny Mullins on the inside. Might just run out of room a little bit on the inside, Danny Mullins, but at the second last, Gaelic Warrior lands two to three length, lands two lengths in front of Elete Tome in second. I know the way you're thinking, staying on in third, American Mike has no more to offer in four, but down to the final fence, it's Gaelic Warrior out clear, jumps at Spring Heel, clear of Elete Tome. Tom in second, third, I know the way you're thinking, and fourth is American Mike, but this is a saunter in the park for Gaelic Warrior, who makes all and scores very impressively in the Guinness for he novice chase. It's a 1-2 for Willie Mullins, as he let Tom in second, I know the way you're thinking, a very gallant third, clear of American Mike in four, and it looks as though they're going to be the only four finishers. In fact, Lucid Dreams did jump the last and will complete for fifth. Gaelic Warrior, two from two over fences, wins the Fahey Novice Chase, which Patrick Munns, of course, won in 2019 on the Great Horse, and uh, another good success today. Well done. Yeah, super. Um, look, he, he, he settled away going his own gallop. I think the beginner's chase was exaggerated. You see that in Maiden Hurls, beginner's chases. The horses in second, third sometimes don't go after a horse going a half straight fast, and it gets exaggerated. He settled fine. I was trying to get the pop early on, and um, he, um, he wasn't too sure with that, so then I was just letting him, letting him jump. Um, he loved the ground, won as he liked, um, and jumped, jumped well once we got into rhythm. August on the downhill run to the second last. Yeah, I'm trying to drop my lad, get him back a bit, get a breather into him. Um, I told Danny, Danny was going out, he says, there will be a gap on my inside the second last, do not come for it. He hasn't listened to me. Um, luckily, he hasn't got the two of his feet, um, but it didn't matter. Uh, how good is he, Patrick? Everything he does is so impressive. Look, he's only been beaten twice, that's in Cheltenham going left-handed. Cheltenham doesn't really suit him. Um, now, the turners are what it is now. He's obviously on the new course, which is slightly less tight than the old course, but he does jump good and right. Um, but, you know, I rode him there last year, and we got him down the rail, and he only jumped right maybe at the last. Um, but he's not as, he's better going this direction. And uh, between now and then, will he go to Dublin Race Festival to try and go left-handed, or what would you think? I'm not sure what, what Willie will have in mind from. Um, that's one. That's one option, and maybe maybe we should try it and see. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I wouldn't mind sending him somewhere that Paul has already got him the same day anyway. So yeah. Indeed, and uh, you're down here, of course. Uh, the bumper ride, uh, Kaju, I'll say, looks a nice type on paper, at least. Yeah, fine big horse. Should love this ground. Um, huge, big, scopey um, point of pointer. Uh, I'd be disappointed if he gets beaten. Well done again. Great. Joined now by Joe Chambers, of course, racing manager to Susanna Ritchie and uh, the Fahey Novice Chase, of course, named after the great horse who won it back in 2019. Nice to be back here with another success uh, with a lovely horse in its own right. Gaelic Warrior, well done, Joe. Yeah, delighted. Um, Patrick seems to like this race. He's fond of coming down and I see he managed to get a bumper horse in the, in the van as well to keep him company. Um, look, lovely race of support, named in honour of Fahey as well. Um, and he's a proper horse going this way around and hopefully he learnt a little bit and he was a bit more tractable today, maybe the gas is out of the system but he looks to have a fair engine and um, yeah, let's hope we can just keep him in one piece and see where we go. If you're designing a grade one chase from today, was today really right-handed, two miles, three, it's a great stepping stone for him into the future. Yeah, and um, you know, we'll see where the next couple of races and steps take him, um, whether that's going to be Leopardstown, whether it's elsewhere, maybe it's Fairy House, but he definitely has a preference this way. I think you could see it going around there. He had a mark preference for going right-handed. Would you like a head of challenge to go left-handed maybe at Leopardstown with him at the DRF? I'm sure the owner's husband will be very keen to go to the Dublin Racing Festival and then to Cheltenham and skip Fairy House and go <laughs> elsewhere. So we'll, we'll, have, we'll have that discussion, shall we say, in a few weeks' time. But, um, you know, we've seen him around Cheltenham twice. Um, you know, the two and a half mile race is over the new course, so there's a bit more gallop in there and maybe that might help him. I don't know whether he'll ever be as good going left-handed as he appears to be going right-handed, only time will tell, but he does seem to be an exceptional animal going this way around. Been a good week, uh, thoughts on Joystick yesterday, nice battle performance in bumper. Delighted with him, yeah. Um, he's always shown a bit um, by coastal path. For some reason or another, Willie seems to have a seems to be one of the few trainers that's able to get the best out of those. Um, but he was good and brave, which was great, uh, going up the straight. And, um, 
you know, two and a half miles as a four-year-old in that ground at Leopardstown. Been a long time since I saw a ground like that at Leopardstown. So, um, no, we'll see. We'll see where we go next. With him. I'm sure Rich will want to go to the DRF with him and on to Cheltenham. But, um, you know, only a four-year-old. But he's a, looks, looks a lovely prospect as well. And on the other end of the scale, uh, Monkfish is uh, entered up at the weekend. Yeah, we don't talk about Monkfish because we don't want to jinx it. But um, he has an entry. Mm. And uh, we will let Mr Mullins decide whether he is uh, in a position to fulfil that entry. But he, d he did manage to make it to Nace the other day and pull someone's arms out. I think Root's arms out for about a mile and a half. So he does appear to be in good form. So Touchwood, it'd be great to see him back because he was the one that we always thought might be the horse that will get us to Cheltenham on a Friday. For sure, and uh, great to see him back out. And uh, Ralph Pagai, of course, didn't take part yeah, in King George. Really unfortunate. Despite all of the kind of nicks and kind of weird injuries he's had, he'd never actually been lame. And he was lame and we couldn't figure it out. And we had to nerve block him to find it. And he has an infection just above the frog of his foot, uh, which has been treated, It'd be fine. And I would say, with the help of God, we should be able to make the Peter Marsh at Haydock at the end of January. So, um, yeah bit of a case of maybe what might have been but uh, then we wouldn't have the Sharks fun and games for the last few days would be to enjoy. <laughs> Indeed great scenes in Kempton listen great scenes here again today exciting times uh, Gaelic Warrior can't wait to see him back out again Joe well done. Cheers friend take care. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com